Hi guys, uh, this is Jack Foley from How to Overcome Depression Now that this. Um, again, if you're on my blog, scroll down. There's some good videos down below that can help you overcome depression. And again, these series of videos are designed to help you change your thinking, which will in turn change your habits and actions, which will in turn change your life. Okay. What I want to talk about today, following on from yesterday where I talked about negative states, um, I want to talk about uh, fear. Uh, fear plays many roles in our lives. Um, let me give, and I want to give you some examples, um, some practical examples when you know you're suffering from fear. Uh, one, one good example would be where something happened to you and you didn't like it at the time and you seem to be playing what happened over and over and over in your mind daily okay it's like reliving the experience okay um this is basically fear in action because um your mind is actually playing a trick on you for some reason and again it goes back to what i was saying yesterday about negative states you think on a conscious level that by reliving and going over that awful incident that awful situation that happened to you that you can get some comfort from that or you can come to a conclusion or your mind will find a solution for you my piece of advice today is when you are thinking negatively when there's fear involved in your thinking your mind can never come to a solution it can never find the answer for you it can never find the it can never uh, make sure that you are at peace okay it can't make you come become a peaceful person uh, why because that line of thinking that fear-led thinking is false and as I said negative states are only designed and only exist to keep you uh, to keep you captured to to basically keep you depressed uh, to keep you in a bad state and you know there is no you can your mind in one way is playing a trick on you there is no solution it will not find the solution for you and this is the worst thing you can do and a lot of people suffering from depression do this they relive bad experiences stuff that happened to them personally they relive those experiences over and over in their mind and because of this they just are always depressed because what you think you will become so the, the, the solution is twofold. Number one is on a practical level where you don't allow negative states to you know, gain traction. I understand this can be hard, especially if you, know, you had a desperate childhood or you're sexually abused, etc., etc. But what I can say is the, the other solution is confrontation um, in terms of confronting the problem okay and this will really really do wonders for you um, I would say if you if an incident happened that you were not happy about uh, it made you very depressed you need to not really have the experience in your head you need to go to a person speak about it you need to go to the person who did it to you, speak about it, just tell them you were not happy, etc, etc. But by confronting, by going to the nub, to the actual source of what happened, uh, and by speaking your mind, by confronting what happened, straight away your self-image will change, your mood will change, and it will get, you, it'll get it out of your system. Okay? But the worst thing you can do is just relive it in your mind because nothing will ever happen there okay there is so much power in your words if you can go to a person or else go to 
go to the person that did harm to you go to a psychologist a coach whatever but get it out of your system okay speak about it okay this will uh, eliminate the fear okay you know confront the fear fear stands for false evidence appearing real and fear is false because you're not confronting it okay get it out on the open and it will definitely make a difference in your uh, in your life okay stay updated at my blog how to overcome depression now.net